Hello, this is Garrett. I don't know if you've seen some of my other videos on quaternions or my static fire test, but if not, welcome. This video is sort of a documentation update on where I am in my project on my thrust vectored model rocket. And the main reason for that is recently I successfully implemented uh, the quaternion PID controller that I discussed in my previous video. Now, before I get into that, you might see some new things here. This right here is the uh, EVA flight computer. And this is a thrust vector mount. It might look a little different than the one that you may have seen in my static fire test. Uh, beginning with the flight computer, this is a four layer board. It's based on the TNC 4.1. It features an ARM Cortex M7IC, a BNO 55 IMU, uh, MS5611, BPU has two pyro channels, two server outputs. It also has outputs for Bluetooth communication, has a piezo buzzer and a five volt three point a five volt three point five amp buck regulator. And also has a flash chip and SD card for data collection and data output. It's worked pretty well up until this point. Uh, the only issue I've experienced is I forgot to include pull up and pull down resistors for the SCA and SCL lines for the BMU, BPU and IMU, but I've, I've found a way around that just in software. I designed it using Fusion and I got it manufactured by JLC PCB. Assembly was kind of a pain. You can see find more information on it in the GitHub linked in the description. This is the thrust vector mount I'm currently using. Uh, the reason it's a little, little different than the other design is I wanted to try something a little more simple. So uh, what I did was I looked around online and I found this, uh, this mount on Thingiverse called the K9 Gimbal Mount V2. I modified it a little and it's working well right now. It's a little more limited in terms of actuating distance but it's a little more accurate in my opinion. I may or may not go back to my previous design, but I definitely have to update it. But this is just what I'm working with now. All right, so let's get into the demonstration. Right now I'm just using sort of a little bit of a janky setup. I'm just using a nine volt battery for power and it's definitely not enough to give the servos enough current. I'm kind of trying to stay away from lipos for the moment just because I don't want to burn down the building, but it's enough It's enough to get the job done. It's a little more jittery, but it's still fine. All right, let me hook this up and I can show you guys. And then we can and plug it in. go just uploading sorry for the jump there i just realized that i hadn't changed the code from when i was testing the state machine so i had to change it back to just incorporate the pid controller but i have it up here and it's working now you can see that turns in the direction so it recognizes the or orientation and it adjusts according to that the PID controller isn't actually tuned at all right now. Uh, I'm planning on tuning it once I get the whole rocket assembled. That way I can take the correct measurements to simulate and then accurately tune it. Uh, and yeah, so that's it for the controller basically. Also switch to a LiPo later on, obviously. This is just for testing. And yeah, that's basically it. So for the future steps, it's probably gonna get busy soon but hopefully i can get fuses built and i can do tests with the parachutes and the pyro channels which i haven't gone around to yet i also need to look into data collection and the piezo buzzer i haven't tested any of those systems out yet and then obviously after that i need to do a full scale test well that's it for this documentation episode thank you for watching and see you in the next one